this is Michael and Christina from Journey of a Compass, and this is week 17 of our vlog series, How to Plan for 12 Months of Travel, and this week we're talking about Goodreads, aka our books. We wanted to share with you some of the books that we've read and are planning on reading over the next year and how it inspired us and how it got us all started on this mind frame of traveling the way we're planning on traveling. A few years ago, I was recommended a book by a friend called Vagabonding by Rolf Potts, talking about living an unconventional lifestyle and how to go about doing it. He talked about the different aspects of what he discovered while he was traveling and how it changed his mind frame and his lens on the world. It was very inspiring to me. When I came home, I shared it with, with Christina and told her all about it and it was something that just opened a, a, a whole new world of possibilities world. in terms of how we can live an unconventional lifestyle. After I read that book it catapulted me into another book called The 4 Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. This book focused on the tricks and trades of how to live an unconventional lifestyle and how to go about making a life full of travel or whatever life you want to do. So after I read those two books, I really, really wanted to get involved in this travel life and I wanted to learn a little bit more about the financial aspects. So then I started to read two more books, which I had recommended in a previous video, one called Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. And that book did help a lot with the financial aspects of how to make proper investments and what to do with your money. But also, it was a lot about mindset and how to essentially switch your brain to thinking a little bit more differently and outside the box. And that was a really, really helpful book for me, just as personal development and also for our mentality with regards to travel. And then that book led me into a Canadian book called The Millionaire Teacher by Andrew Hallam. That talked about the nine rules of wealth that you should have learned in school. So that was a little bit more applicable to me being a Canadian and I've applied almost all of those tips and tricks into our lifestyle now, which is what has made us able to do what we're about to do. While well, Michael was reading a lot of these books, I read books that fueled my own inspiration. So I read Vagabonding as well, kind of sparked that, that desire to commit to this lifestyle. Really good book, you should read it. Yes, absolutely. Another book was Tales of a Female Nomad by Rita Gelman, which was recommended by a former colleague of mine and I absolutely love. It's about an older solo female traveler who essentially sets out for a number of years of travel traveling and is able to become immersed in communities in a really neat way by taking part in cultural ceremonies, religious ceremonies, living with communities, really living with families. So we've had a lot of conversations about it and it's impacted the way that we are going to set out to travel in a more authentic and genuine way. Then I wanted a little bit more of a fun read. So I read The Lost Girls, which was written by three women who quit their jobs in New York City and set out to travel for 12 months. So a little bit different about what Michael and I are gonna do as a couple, but it was a really neat and inspiring book to, to get me excited as I was sitting on those long bus rides to work, essentially transport myself into uh, their stories and their book. I also read Another Cocktail Please by two awesome Canadian bloggers who quit their job a number of years ago and have created their own model of travel where they essentially spend the summers in Canada working. They spend the long Canadian winters in a variety of different countries and so they pick a different country every year and they provide a lot of tips and resources Finally, the book that I've read most recently is The Mystical Backpacker by Hannah Papp. Essentially talks about travel, but the spiritual journey that you go through while traveling and that you can go through if you go there. Traveling more consciously and looking at combining, yeah, spirituality and travel and what that looks like. And she guides you through a variety of different exercises that really allow you to dig a little bit deeper into the soul about what travel means. It's everything that that I love in terms of spirituality and travel. Because of the mindfulness aspect and being more conscious when you travel and more mindful. Not just going through the motions, not just going from one place to the next place to the next place. Actually enjoying where you are and taking it all in. And that's something that we've really, really tried to adapt is, is being more mindful, being more aware of our surroundings, of what we're doing, and about the people around us as well. In and amongst all those books that we shared with you so far, there was a couple books that we really wanted to also share with you that had to do with our relationship. We thought it was really important for us to invest some time in our relationship 
before we set out on such an adventure. The first book, surprise, surprise, is Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus <laughs> by John Gray. This book was very helpful for me to understand what goes on in this little brain over here. Big brain, <laughs> big brain, big brain. <laughs> And, and it was also very helpful for her to understand what goes on in my brain and it just made things so much easier for us to understand each other. Being polar opposites, it made a big difference in our relationship. The second book was Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman and this book focused on the five essential love languages that each of us in the world, the humans, either receive love or give love in a certain way and surprise surprise neither of us have the same love language either. It basically solidified some of the communication strategies that, that we needed to implement into our life to be able to be on the same page and be a dynamic duo and a force to be reckoned with as a team. I have a little bit more time this summer now that I'm done full-time school and work and so there are two books that I'm going to be reading this summer. The first one is The Mindfulness Code by Donald Altman. A really, really awesome read. I'm just a couple chapters in, but really exploring a little bit more about mindfulness. The next is The Pathfinder by Nicholas Lore. And it's essentially how to choose or change your career for a lifetime of satisfaction and success. And so I'm going to be using this guide once again this summer to figure out a way to combine these two passions of mine, which are social work and travel. So you might be wondering how we're going to be packing these books in our bags. Well, the truth is we're not going to. We spent a little bit of money and put some money aside to purchasing Kindles, which are little digital tablets, I guess which help to take all your books and put them into digital form. So you can put hundreds, if not thousands of books on these and read them on the road. That's how we're going to essentially continue to read these types of books that inspire us and provide us that further knowledge that we want to grow personally yeah. as a couple and individually. individually. If you have any suggestions about really awesome books that you have read about anything from health, nutrition, fitness, mindset, mindfulness, spirituality, travel, travel, anything of the sort. We love to hear them. We are constantly on the lookout for new books to inspire us, so absolutely share them with us. Books. <laughs> we wanted to share the books we read. <laughs> We read books.